Um, hello, this is Jeffrey, and the topic we're going to be discussing today will be the rectangular coordinate system and the graphs. So here's the learning objectives, and in this section you'll learn to plot order pairs in Cartesian coordinate system, and also find x y intercepts, and also using the distance formula and the midpoint formula. So yeah, let's get started. So the first one. Plotting ordered pairs in the Cartesian coordinate system. So the Cartesian coordinate system, also called the rectangular coordinate system, is uh, is based on the two-dimensional plane consisting of the x-axis here and the y-axis here. So they are perpendicular to each other, and the axis divide the plane into four main sections. Uh, so this is the quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three and quadrant 4 right here. Something important to notice about the graph is that right here in the middle of the like the intersection between the y-axis and the x-axis right here is called the origin and the coordinate of this one is just 0, 0, right? So for example if I wanted to like plot the coordinate of 3 comma negative 1 I will go like one, two, three, right here, because it's the first one represents the x coordinate. So on the x axis, we have to go right three steps, because it's positive three, right? If it asks you to graph negative three, you just go the other head, like one, two, three. And so we, yeah. And for the y coordinate, it says negative one, so we simply just go down one step, like here. So it's right here, yeah. The second one is finding x-intercepts and also the y-intercepts. So intercepts of the graph are the point at which the graph crosses the axis. For x-axis, uh, for x-intercept, it is the point which the graph crosses the x-axis. And at this point, the y-coordinate is 0. <coughs> and for the y-intercept, it is the point at which the graph crosses, crosses the y-axis. And at this point, the x-coordinate is 0. So to, to determine the x-intercept, we set y equal to 0, then solve for x. And on the other hand, to determine the y-intercept, we set the x equal to 0, and then we solve for y. So for example, y, uh, let's try to find the intercepts of the equation y is equal to 3x minus 1. So to find the x-intercept, we first set y equal to 0, and here's the graph of that. Notice that... Um, uh, for this, like, like, for example, for this line, this is y equal to 1, right? Because it's, like, on the y, y axis, and it's 1. So, the whole thing is y. That this straight horizontal line is y equal to 1. So, and in this case, this is equal to y equal to 2. So, if we want to find y is this equal to 0 on a graph, it will simply be this line, the yellow line right here. And if we want to find, like, what's the x for this line, like the blue line, when y is equal to 0, we basically want to find the intersection between these two lines. So on the so one method we could do is like setting the two equation equal. So is it, in this case, y is equal to 0. So we can plot that 0 back to this equation. So 0 is the, equal to 3x minus 1. So in this case, the, like the x-intercept where y is equal to 0, will get x is equal to one third, yeah. And as for the y-intercept where x is equal to zero, we can simply plug in zero for x, so we get y is equal to negative one, and, here's, and here will be our, like the intercept, the x, and also the y, yeah. Okay, so the next part, using the distance formula. Uh, so something to remember that's important about this distance formula thing is the Pythagorean theorem, basically saying that uh, the one leg of the tri a right triangle, so first leg square plus the second leg square is equal, kind of equal to the hypotenuse square. So if we set this equation right here, right, put it here, and then we can do the, like, doing the square roots of these, like the c square and also the a square plus b square on the both sides. So if we do the square root of these, it turns into c is equal to the square root of a square plus b square. 
so like let's look at this graph right now so um, the first point is x1 y1 right here and then the second point is x2 y2 if we want to find the distance between these two graphs we can simply do the same thing at the Pythagorean theorem so basically saying that the distance between these two points like the x distance between these two points will be x2 minus x1 and then we we can set that equal to a and for the y we can set y2 minus y1 the distance between these two point in terms of y is equal to b so according to the Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared is going to equal to c squared and c is going to equal to square root of a squared plus b squared so in this case the d since it's equal to c so the d or the c is equal to the whole thing square uh, whole thing square root of x2 minus x1 da right x2 minus x1 square a square plus y y2 minus y1 square b square so notice that we do not have to use the absolute value symbol in this definition because like if you square something it's gonna turn it into positive right so like negative 2 square is just 4 negative 1 square is just 1 so you don't have to do the absolute value between these two because they will turn into positive anyway uh, so the last one is using the midpoint formula where the endpoints of the line segments are known we can find the point midway between them and this point is known as the midpoint and the formula is known as the midpoint formula, formula. given the endpoints of the line segments x1 y1 and x2 y2 the midpoint formula states that to say how to find the coordinates of the midpoint n so yeah this is this is the formula but let's look at the graph first so if we got two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 right these two points if we want to find the midpoint in this case the m here so we can simply do like the average between these two points so as for x x2 minus oh wait it's x2 plus x1 the whole thing divide by 2 and same for the y y y1 plus y2 and then the whole thing divided by 2 and that will be our midpoint for that yeah so let's do some practice question uh, question 1 ask you to plot the points of negative 2 comma 4 3 comma 3 and also 0 comma negative 3 in the plane so I'll give you guys like 30 seconds to work on these three it's pretty simple but first of all you can just draw the the graph out right so yeah starting for now 30 seconds Alright, so here is your answer. It should be looking at something like this. So negative two comma four, negative two, right for the x for the x axis. So it goes back, backward. It goes to the left two, and it goes up four because it's positive. And for three 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 comma three, it's just positive three and then positive three. So here for zero and negative three. You don't have to do anything to the x-axis since it's zero you don't have to move but you do have to go down three steps because it's negative three in y direction yeah practice question number two find the intercepts of the equation y is equal to negative three x minus four just list out the y and x intercepts for this one again 30 seconds starting from now
Alright, so this is your answer. So to find the x-intercept, you first set y is equal to 0. And if you do y is equal to 0, you'll figure out that x is equal to negative 4 thirds. So that's our x-intercept. And as for y-intercept, we first set the x is equal to 0. And then if we plug in x is equal to 0, you'll get y is equal to negative 4. And that will be our y-intercept. Number three, finding the distance between the points negative three and neg neg uh, negative three comma negative one and two comma three. Uh, for a second, for this one, starting from now. Right, for this one, so here is the distance formula that you should be applying to. So the like x2 here, so 2 minus x1, negative 3. So 2 minus negative 3, the whole thing squared, plus the y2, 3 minus y1, negative 1. So 3 minus negative 1, the whole thing squared. You'll get 5 squared plus 4 squared. And then the whole thing turns out to be 41. And then you do the, the square root of that. So the answer is square root of 41. Uh, for our last question, find the midpoint of this line segment with the endpoints of 7, comma, negative 2 and 9, comma, 5. Uh, this one, 30 seconds, starting from now. Alright, so for this one, you do you use the midpoint formula, so you'll get x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2. And in this case, 7 plus 9 divided by 2, then negative 2 minus 5, or plus 5 divided by 2. And you'll get 8, comma 3 half. And that will be it. So thank you. And that's it for today. Yeah.